Hi guys and welcome to another edition of In The Green Room with Dan Green. This week we're outside the famous Nottingham legend, the favourite watering hole of all the players and staff situated right next to the arena. Uh, in a second I'm going to be joined by Jeff Dimmon and Jeff Waugh, two absolute fan favourites and we're going to be talking about some golf, a little bit about their NBA and some of the recent games. We're going to be looking back to the 3-3 three and three in Scotland, talking to those guys about that. I'm also going to be looking forward to the Cardiff game this Saturday the 17th. Hopefully see you guys there. If you haven't got your tickets yet, look at the link below. You can go and grab your tickets there. We'll see you inside. So here we are now inside the legend and I'm joined by Jeff R and Jeff Dimon, the two best looking defensemen in the league. I'm gonna be chatting to them about everything from last weekend's games, the game against Cardiff and what the guys got up to in the summer. So first of all, both of you welcome to the show. Thanks for agreeing to come on. Um, and we're going to talk about obviously the weekend just gone, the three and three, uh, obviously four out of six points, um, like we were talking about earlier, you know, pr pretty good return uh, on a very tough trip. What did you guys make of the, uh, the trip? Well, first off, Greener, thanks for having us. And uh, no, it was a good trip. Um, it was obviously uh, a long hike up there, um, but we pulled off uh, the win there in Dundee and then obviously uh, against Brayhead as well. And then unfortunately on Sunday, uh, Fife came out with a good effort. And, and got the win and you got to give them uh, credit where credit's due so um, obviously we got four out of six and we're hoping for six but uh, either way we'll be ready next time. Yeah I think uh, obviously you know going up there playing three and three a lot of teams have got to do it Dims I think it's going to be you know I don't think many teams are going to go up there and get three wins so I think four out of six is a, is a pretty decent return. Yeah it's a tough place to play no matter uh, how you started out and uh, I think that was a good start for us this year to get four out of six and uh, get the season rolling. Cool, and uh, obviously looking forward to next week. Uh, we're playing the Devils, obviously. Hopefully it's going to be a you know, sold-out barn at home, first home game, first chance for the fans to see the new-look team. Um, obviously last year, the huge win against Cardiff in the Challenge Cup final was probably the highlight of the, of the, of the games against Cardiff. Um, what do you remember about that game and any other sort of good Cardiff memories? I uh, just remember that was a good game to watch. You know, I wasn't, uh, unfortunately <laughs> I wasn't playing, but uh, I do remember sitting there with uh, Gary Moran in uh, leading the boys and uh, it was quite a win mosey with the overtime goal. yeah uh, it was an awesome way to watch it nice nice and uh how do you think obviously now we've seen you know we haven't we haven't played against you know the cardiffs and the belfast yet but from the games we've seen and the pre-season games what do you make of sort of the makeup of the team so far no it's good i think uh, we we had a pretty good camp and uh you know it got better as, as sort of the the rest of the team came in there we had a couple of visa problems and whatnot and uh no we're shaping up well it's obviously early but um, the important thing here with this league here is obviously uh, right off the hop you got to be ready, right? You know, yeah. when you're looking at uh, the grand uh, scheme of things with uh, with the league title and whatnot, you can't sort of ease into it. You got to get right into it. So uh, every uh, game's important, and uh, we're happy with our with our play so far. We can always improve, and uh, we're looking to have our best effort of the year so far in front of our home fan, home fans on Saturday. Awesome. Uh, obviously, with the with the huge signing this week of Brian McGratton um, coming in, it should be you know a huge huge boost for the boys and you know the team and everything. Uh, have you either of you guys played against him? Obviously, we've all seen you know clips of him and you know we know what he can do. He should be an awesome addition. But any memories of him or things you've seen or anything? Actually, he was playing with uh, the Ottawa Senators at the time, and I was signed with him. So uh, I was in camp for a couple of years. Uh, don't know him personally. Just you know, you're just a you know, they invite a bunch of guys to camp and whatnot. But uh, no, I, from what I hear, he's a great guy, and and his reputation and uh, and his uh, skills obviously speak for themselves. So uh, no, we're obviously really excited to get him in here, and uh, he'll obviously be be a big contributor to the team. Cool. And uh, just just looking back, obviously everyone's had a really busy summer. And obviously, for anyone who doesn't know, you got married. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And uh, I know I know uh, Dims also went to some weddings. So do you just want to talk about your summers? Any good weddings? Any other good stories? Yeah, I don't know, it was a good summer. I was uh, all over the place, went uh, on a couple golf trips, went out to Pebble Beach, and then, uh, and they brought me in as the wedding ringer, uh, the million dollar smile, they, everyone wanted me up there, so uh, oh. <laughs> I had my cousin's wedding and two of my best friends got married this summer, so it was, uh, it was a great summer. So obviously you said you managed to get out to Pebble Beach in the summer and play, talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, it was awesome. We have uh, a golf trip every year with uh, some of our best friends from back home, and and it was a once in a lifetime trip to play Pebble Beach and a couple of the other ones around there, Spyglass and uh, Spanish Bay. But it wasn't so good. I think I was plus seven Ooh. through the first three holes. It was early, but then I brought it around. But uh, it was just cool to get out there and walk the course and play such a historic course. So obviously, Dim's just one thing I wanted to ask. Obviously, you look great. You're all dressed up for golf. So you have to play with some of the boys somewhere today? Uh, no, I just dress like this every day. 
<laughs> just to make us look bad. But in, in all seriousness, no, we're going to play uh, the Nottinghamshire uh, golf course today. So uh, we're going to go out there and show Ollie how to how to whack it around. Who's who's the best player out of you and Ollie? Well, uh, have to say <laughs> me. Ollie hits, <laughs> Ollie hits the ball a country mile, but uh, his touch around the greens isn't so good. So, nice. Uh, I got him last time. How about any other guys on the team? I know you obviously go out there quite a bit. Any other budding golfers out there? Yeah, there's some good golfers. Uh, Schultz knows how to whack them. That's pretty good. Uh, I hope Brownie's, Brownie's pretty good too. Yep. Yeah, we, uh, everyone hits the ball a long way, but every, it's, uh, from there, it gets a little dicey for some of the guys. They don't have that soft touch, right? Yeah, yeah, not everybody has my touch, so. <laughs> Sweet, and uh, Wazi, your wedding obviously went well? Yeah, it was great, it was great. Uh, my uh, wife, uh, Becky, uh, flew home a couple of weeks uh, before the season ended just to sort of, you know, make sure everything was uh, running smoothly. Um, we won it, we, we won the playoffs on April 3rd, and I literally had to fly out the next day because got married on uh, the 23rd of April, so uh, it was a great wedding and obviously the best day of my life and uh, literally had to fly, uh, fly back two days later to finish up classes, so nice. it, was a bit of, it was a bit of a whirlwind, but uh, either way, uh, no, it was great in a busy summer and then came back here for a couple classes and then I had to fly back for my brother's wedding, so I think it was a, a stressful summer for my parents, but uh, great nonetheless. Good fun, it worked out well. So just talking a little bit about your classes, obviously uh, you're both finishing up the second year of your MBA, so uh, just talk a little bit about sort of how that went last year and kind of what you're looking at for this year. You're obviously going to be finished in the summer and then you'll be done and have your MBA, so that's going to be great for you guys. So you're obviously looking forward to the challenge of playing and trying to finish school as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's, it's great. Uh, it was Jeff and uh, Brad and I uh, last year, and then I know we got... Uh, Brownie and uh, Spang are joining us this year. I don't know if they're going to be in our classes, but uh, obviously us three are, to, are together. So we start up uh, first week of October with a couple classes and then another one coming there, I think, a month later. So uh, we're going to have our hands full in the first semester, but uh, really looking forward to obviously uh, completing it and uh, finishing her up. How about you, Dims? How's school been going? Oh, it's been going pretty good. good. Yeah. You learning off Mo? <laughs> yeah, Mo knows a lot. He's so wise. Yes, he is. <laughs> Just quiet and wise. You never know. <laughs> it's like an owl. Um, so yeah, any, any other things you know for the season coming up? You're looking forward to um, you know away from the ring. Any trips anywhere? Any family coming over? Uh, anything, anything fun? Uh, yeah, I got a couple of family trips coming over this year. Uh, my uncle and my dad are coming for uh, for a weekend there with the uh, Robin Hood Beer Festival. Yeah, I, think. Oh, yeah, I don't know if they're coming for hockey or taste of beer, but uh, the they're beer. coming over. Yeah, and then. I'm kind of excited to go see uh, Spain, see what that's all about. Oh, yeah. yeah. It should be a fun trip. The big trip coming up. All right, well, that's going to be it for this week in the Groom with Dan Green. I'd like to thank the two Jeffs for coming on the show and making me look bad in my outfit. Um, if you're coming to the Cardiff game, uh, you know, cheer loud, cheer, cheer the boys on. If you haven't got a ticket, uh, the link will be below. Come down and see us. See you next week. We all want to be as free as the birds, but maybe the birds want to be as free as us. The all new Fiat 124 Spider, more fun than flying. Cause I'm free like a bird.